whatever the fuck it's called. I can't even remember anymore. The... So, so should we start? Yeah, we can okay. start the pod. We can start the podcast like ten minutes before this. I don't care. I gotta find <laughs> or the ungodly geeks. Hello, I'm Joe. I'm Luke, and I'm tired. Yeah, um, but it's all good. <laughs> Now we're gonna we're gonna talk today. about some stuff today, guys. You know, like we always do. Um, you know, just the kind of uh, how did Rupert put it? Meaningless chatter, uh, meaningless dumb shit that we always talk about. Yeah, I had a uh, special brownie yesterday, oh. and oh my, meant you didn't share? No, I didn't <laughs> share at all. I only had one. I meant to watch. Godzilla movies last night. Oh yeah, ended up sitting there on YouTube watching move YouTube videos about Godzilla movies <laughs> that I wanted to watch, like Hongo, and just fucking zoning out and watching those for like four and a half hours. Um, earlier and today, didn't watch any goddamn Godzilla. I said right, so earlier today, Luke and I made the plan that we would um, <clears throat> record like earlier in the day, mm-hmm. and he ended up having to uh, sleep. For a much later time than he, I guess, originally intended, which fucking well, happened. No, right? I was gonna get up at nine anyway. I just got oh. an hour less sleep. But um, well, whatever happened, you you ended up doing it. Yeah, I was honestly expecting like, oh, he'll be over like five, six, seven o'clock. Like, no, whatever. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> but um, while he was asleep, I did a bunch of random dumb shit, including going down a YouTube rabbit hole, mm-hmm. and um, I ended up watching the tree sickle videos on Pro Jarrett, and it's just like. Wow. Tree sickle. Yeah, he, he's he's a he's a YouTuber guy. He, he they yeah. mostly do video games and stuff, but every now and then they do deep dives into random topics. Yeah. And this is one of those times where they did a deep dive into a random topic, and I'm just I wa- they had two videos on him. One dated for like the 16th of May or some shit like that, and then one dated like five days ago. And it's just like seeing both sides of the story, more sides of the story according to deep research and all that. Yeah. Pro Jared's a fucking scumbag. Oh, yeah. No, totally. I mean, Heidi's not innocent. She said so as much. Mm -hmm. But God, Pro Jared's a fucking scumbag. The stuff he was doing with that Tumblr page where he just Multiple Tumblr pages, by the way. He had multiple ones. Plus Snapchats. Where he just had, like... Allegedly, girls. allegedly yeah. underage men, boys and girls. Yeah, it was it was both. And he had no, there was no like moderation, no nothing. It was just send us, send us nudes, send us nudes. It was body positivity. It doesn't matter if you're, whatever age you are, who you are, what you are. But um, yeah, no, I I was just sitting there watching that, and I'm just like, it was like 45 minutes long between the two videos. I think like Jesus. 22 for one, 20 ish for the other. Yeah, it was it was interesting enough that I sat there and watched it. So I mean. Yeah. But, yeah, he's a fucking scumbag, and I hope he burns. <laughs> oh, he will. He's already, I think he's done. Like, like I don't, I, I always hate seeing people go down for stuff. And the whole polyamorous thing that he and his his, uh, his wife had going on and all that, I don't give a shit about that. But the fact that he was the kitty diddler, yeah, he needs to fucking burn. Yeah, there's, there's just, that, that stuff is what bothered me the most. Like, cheating on his wife, that's bad. You, you suck for doing that. Yeah. Um... It, but, I mean, that's not something I'm going to, like, say, you know, we need to ruin this guy's career. Yeah. Cancel culture, like, yeah, I don't, I think you need to chill out with that. But all that other stuff that came out, it was like, no, 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 this is, this is a fucking scumbag. Yeah. It kind of made me sit there and think, like, you know, if we ever get to a point where we're big enough that, you know, we're being looked at in a similar way, and we hire people or we start working with people, I, I've decided <clears throat> that unless... These people are kitty diddlers or rapists or something horrible mm. like that. If they just say something dumb, I'm not going to, like, abandon them, you no. know? It, unless they say something really fucking out of line, you know, yeah. like, like, you know, Nazis are, like, the greatest. Like, no, you got to go. We can't man, have that shit. Cut yeah. that out. Or, you know, racist slurs or stuff. But I'm sitting there thinking, like, man, like, some of the things that people have been, like, canceled over or been fucked with over, it's like, it's really dumb. And that just got me to thinking about that today. Well, cause... cancel culture in general, it's like, it's like you go to the, um, what the fuck, the makeup guy, James Charles. Yeah. How they were all fucking all in on him, immediately cancel culture. He comes back with a video that rebukes like 90% of the claims on him. And then they're like, oh, okay, I uh, guess we fucked up. And it's like, you, it's just, it's dumb for the most part. I mean, like, um... I, I, I don't, there's been a few cases where, yeah, great. You've succeeded in something. But, like, even this pro-Jared fucking case, I don't... 
it's not like there's no other avenues for him to go to. Yeah. So I don't see the need for a huge. Uh, it doesn't need a like a cancel culture reaction. I think the reaction it got is was absolutely perfect. appropriate. Yeah. yeah. It, like, they're, they're... I mean, I'm, granted, if those are the guy people who brought up the the Tumblr pages and all the sick shit he was on, then great keep doing that no 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 what what do you think of that is like when they started diving into other things around normal boots and why some of the people you know exited normal boots and all that yeah yeah that 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 was my thing like it just Um, made me sit there and think about like these are the same people that he's like one of the people that kicked out john tron for uh john tron going yeah red pill yeah yeah when he was one of the founders of normal boots yeah and it's it's like uh and now the shoe the, the boots are on the other fucking foot like <laughs> no, the boots are over on the ground, crumpled up in the thing because he's naked over there showing his dick off. That's, yeah, he's no, showing his dick to a twelve-year-old. It's like no, come on, man. I, you know, and, and that's that's one thing I gotta I gotta touch on. I am proud to say I am a certified member of the club that have never seen Pro Jared's dick. <laughs> then go looking. I love. I've mentioned it before. I love listening to the official podcast, and those guys were like, "This situation's hilarious," and they're like, "It's great." You just start searching for Pro Jared's dick. <laughs> And seeking through the internet to find it. It's like, I gotta see it. <laughs> fucking die. I don't gotta it's see like, it. No, no. They're describing his, how he did his fucking dick pics. Like, lean back with his legs in the air. <laughs> I, you know, um. I was like, ah, that's great. <laughs> I'm not one of those people that shy away from things like that. Like, I don't give a shit. Is it, a dick is a dick, right? You, you look at it in porn. If you see it in a movie, you know, you can, yeah. whatever. But, I mean, like, that, I'm not going to go actively exactly. looking for it, you know? <laughs> like, if, it had, if it had been a big thing where it's like, look at his dick, it's hilarious. Like, then I've been like, all right, I got to see it. Let's yeah, see no, what's I, going I, here. Like, if it had been, if, the, if, like, a big deal had been made about it, like, exactly. oh, my God, this is the most amazing dick ever. It's like, I got to see that dick. Exactly. Like, it's you know. like, all right, now I, now I got to see what everybody's talking about. I, yeah. I'm not. And then I, you look I, at I, it. I do that FOMO, that, that fear of missing. I'm not going to, like, be the last one to see it. Like, the, the McDonald's chick, McChicken yeah. video. I'm yeah. like, I know what it is. I know it's a dude fucking a McChicken. I got to see the video. <laughs> Or like when someone mentioned that there's a SpongeBob porn parody. Oh yeah, it, like okay, I gotta see that. I gotta, you know? I gotta go. see It's awful in every conceivable way, <laughs> but I have to see it. So you know, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, it's that kind of. I, I don't well, care. I mean, it, it's almost like peer pressure. Almost in a way, yeah. It's like you said, it's well, fear I mean, of missing I'm out. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna not see it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um. Uh, <sighs> I, I don't know anymore, man. I'm just he's a he's a fucking scumbag, and I, I yeah. he deserves to burn. He deserves all the bad shit coming his way. Like I I, I kind of revel in it in a way, you know. I don't know. Maybe I'm an asshole for it, but I I kind of enjoy it. I like it when it's when it feels deserved. Yeah, when it feels and like somebody like, a, uh, like in this case. Well, I mean that's what um, I'm getting at. I'm not or that other I fucker love... who went to prison. Um, for yeah, the, kitty the porn. Auto, Adam, <laughs> Adam Fuckwitz or whatever. Yeah. Name was. I don't know his name. I don't care. These people don't matter to me in the grand scheme of things. But, exactly. Yeah, I'm glad he went to fucking prison for that shit. All right, so let's move on. Um, yeah. I don't even know how we got into that. You know, just meaningless rambles. <laughs> just um, brought it up. So we got some Pokemon news. You see yeah, the Pokemon the Stadium? Pokemon, uh, Sword uh, and Shield? Dude, honestly, it looks kind of neat. I like... Uh, like all the stuff I've seen, and I, I'm gonna be clear, I didn't watch the whole video. I've literally like I've just seen like, ooh, that's interesting. Like people posting different things about the video. When you said you were getting ready, when you mm-hmm. texted me that, I was like, huh, I should probably like maybe research something so we have something to talk about. Yeah. Um, I actually pulled up Arlo's video. Uh, you know, the, have you ever seen Arlo? I think I have. Yeah. You know, YouTube guy, blue puppet. Like he's just a blue puppet that talks about <laughs> Nintendo shit, right? <laughs> Huge Nintendo fan, and and like the guy behind Arlo just uses a he's just he uses a, a puppet. He uses a puppet. It's like it's like mm-hmm. Blue Elmo, but better. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, he, he I I watched his uh, commentary video on it. I was like, yeah, this is pretty cool because he basically just takes a whole fucking fifteen minute direct and just and puts just it there talks and then about talks it. about it. Yes, yeah. nice. um, and it was actually entertaining and stuff. And mm-hmm. uh, I was sitting there looking at some of the things. Like I I like everything except. Growing the Pokemon giant because it feels like a lazy take on Mega Evolution, which was stupid in its own right in a way. Mega Evolution was at least sort of um, original. Like they changed, yeah. they yeah. changed the Pokemon, the new look. It was cool. It's kind of cool. Like it was yeah, dumb, I, I but agree. it was cool. The uh, the whole make them giant just seems 
it gimmicky? seems lazy yeah, and gimmicky. It's yeah. like when they first introduced uh, like a 3D the 3D uh, thing on the, the 3DS where uh-huh. you can play Pokemon in 3D. Like, oh, look, it's just three-dimensional. And everything pops out at you. I have never... I used that feature when I played X. No, when I played Y. Mm-hmm. For like, I don't know, 30 seconds? And then thought, huh, this tanks my frame rate when I do certain types of Pokemon moves. I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah. And you know what? It's not even that cool. <laughs> So I, I, I stopped playing. I stopped yeah. using it. I, I still don't use the 3D feature on my 3DS, but I also don't play my 3DS because my Switch has cannibalized it. Yeah. I don't care what Nintendo says. Switch killed the 3DS. I think by now they've realized it. Yeah. Um, what I, 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 I mean, at least this has an in-game function, and that's just, that's total gimmick. But this is just I, like okay so is this it's going to be like mega evolutions right uh yeah in a way you can do it one uh, except it's not until the battle ends or until the pokemon faints uh-huh. it's three turns three turns of their so mega, you, you, or they're you, you, fat, you, you, huge. yeah you turn them <laughs> into like 30 times their size yes and then they last that way for three turns or until you win or whatever i don't know how that fucking works i'm assuming their power goes way up HP i would fucking hope probably. so man like everything everything should go up like they do with mega so evolution. my question is that every is that any battle you just decide to activate it is there special circumstances i do know that in the direct they featured a stadium uh-huh. where it happens i saw that yeah everybody um, was uh embiggened. so there was a which stadium. seems like that's going to be a maybe a uh a, 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 uh, what do you what'd you call it? a scenario? Yeah, for stadium battles. Um, so I know there was a stadium, and I know there was something imitating a raid battle. Yeah, which kind of looked interesting. It. Yeah, which kind of sounds cool. Like, yeah. like that idea of raid battling sounds awesome. Like yeah, right? if you and I can sit there and like pull up the fucking game and go raid a like a fucking Gyarados or something. Exactly. Two of us playing the same game. That, that would be kind of neat. Like, I like the idea. <laughs> no, of Nintendo, when it comes out, Nintendo's going to be like, sorry, you can't play with your friends. <laughs> you can only play with randos. You can on the only internet. play with randos because leaderboards. Oh, my God. Dude, so- <laughs> I'm still... Uh, I still have so much I can say on Nintendo's online service. So bad. Like, we could de- we could dedicate an entire episode to me just bitching about it. Yeah. Um. I'm I'm actually really happy that thanks to Amazon Prime I got a year of that for free so I don't have to think about it for another year because mm-hmm. I don't twenty bucks is not worth it one hundred and thirty eight dollars with tax for what I pay for Amazon is or one hundred twenty seven dollars is fucking worth all the benefits and get yeah because I do use a lot of them but twenty bucks a year I can't say it's worth it for I mean I haven't online. played a single I played one time online I think um. That I can remember. The last time I played online, it was when it was free. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. So, um, but yeah, yeah it, uh, the new, this... new Pokemon. I mean, I like the way it looks. Um, it's definitely a huge step up in like its its general beauty. Yeah. I, it's, it's a beautiful looking game. I I, I want to play it. Like I really want. I play love them. that they show that there are Pokemon on the map. Yeah. Wandering around now yeah. too, as well as hidden in the grass. That was stuff. one thing I really did love. Then let's go Eevee. And oh, let's go Pikachu. Fucking great! It was, like it, it was, was such a small, tiny mechanic change, but it was so amazing. Like, because it, I, 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 I am a fan of random encounters in certain games. I, I hate. I used to love random encounters. I used to love the grind. I hate random encounters in Pokemon games, though, because if you're hunting for one specific Pokemon, like it's just you know, a nightmare. Like, uh, say you're down in Seafoam Islands and you're looking for, I don't, I don't fucking know, what's the rare Pokemon down there? Dragon. I, actually, yes, I think you can catch a, a Dratini in one, yeah. of the, one of them, I don't know. And let's say you're looking for a Dratini in an area where Dratini spawns, but it's one fucking percent. Yeah. Like, how fucking frustrating would that be to grind and do go through, slog through 300 encounters only to not find one? Yeah. Or to find one finally and not be able to catch it or some shit like that. That's why I kind of like the idea. I, I like the way they did encounters in Let's Go Eve and Let's Go Pikachu. Yeah, because if you're would. looking for that one specific Pokemon, if you're if you're hunting for that, you don't have to sit there and like you know, just slog through all those battles. Oh no, it's not the one I'm looking for. Run, run around again. Oh no, it's not the one I'm looking for. Run. You know, like it's like yeah, it you, gets it's old. Just waste time. It's it gets not, really old. It's oh, God, it's frustrating. And I mean it. Sure, you could say I'm 
you know, leveling up. But especially if you're in a low level area, you're not getting any XP. It's not worth it to fight the battles. Yeah, I mean, all. sitting there fighting level two Pidgeys and getting 15 experience points while you're looking for like a Pidgeotto or something. Like, it's, come on, man. Or, well, fucking yeah. Or if you're looking for a Dutini over there and your level 70 party is fighting like level 25 Magikarps. <laughs> Magikarp, man. But yeah, it's, like, cool. it's just not it's it's not worth it. Like no. So I like the way that, that that works. And if they're doing it this way, like if they're doing like a hybrid or a combination of the two, which it looks like they are, yeah. I might be kind of okay with that. Especially looks... if the Mon's on the map. Like I say, you're looking for a Mon that's mm-hmm. on the map. doesn't vanish when you get into a random battle. Yeah. If it does, well, that's fucking bullshit, that Nintendo. That very frustrating. And it... I might burn your headquarters down. <laughs> Um, I, and I like actually I'm interested would be Pokemon in, Company. But. It looked like he was whistling at the Pokemon too, and like you could you could get their attention. That might be kind. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I, know. That I, looks kind of cool. That 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 interests me too. Oh, hang on a second. In beginning though, like that's I still don't like that. I don't know. I it just as as long as it's not something that's like can randomly happen in every battle. Right. That would be frustrating to me. I like the way you could choose to do mega evolutions. So I okay. think I think this is kind of along the this is this is along the same lines, where uh, you you know when you go to choose your moves, mm-hmm. it works the same way where you choose what move you're going to use, and over on the side you have an option for the embiggening, whatever the hell they call it. I don't yeah. remember now. The embiggening. That's what I'm calling. <laughs> enlarge it. monster. Um, I don't know for where I got embiggening monster. I think I said it. Embiggen. No, like it's something I've heard before. We started recording this. Like, oh, well, I know I've said it before. You, you definitely have, but I don't think it was you. But it doesn't matter at this I'll point. Take credit anyway. <laughs> Luke said it first. You guys heard it here. I did it? He said in the beginning know, I before stole anyone it from else. Somebody else too. Who knows? <laughs> It's like uh, someone random that you wouldn't expect. Like Bill Burr said it one day. Like I'm, I'm going to use that word. Possible. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> the game looks cool though. It, it is very pretty. Um, I don't care about the characters, although the one gym leader that they introduced, there's one gym leader they introduced, it looks like a fusion of a carrot top and like a five-year-old child with no nose. I don't, I don't know that. The only one that I even stuck out to me at all was when they show like the stadium fight. Yeah. And then the last guy who was like the most anime, anime character ever. Yeah. Looked like he's straight out of Jojo or like... He just he had like a giant coat yeah, over yeah, another I know, coat yeah. with the big hair and his chest was showing and I was like, Oh my god, that is Mr. Anime. <laughs> um, this dude is shown in the direct before they reveal him, I think. Or yeah. maybe after. I don't fucking remember now. Um no, he's literally like he's like six feet tall. Yeah. And he has like a like a I, I would say like a Boy Scout uniform on, like a green Boy Scout uniform. <laughs> And he reminds me of Carrot Top and a five-year-old kid who has no nose. Like, he literally does not have a nose. Have a nose. Where his nose is supposed to be, there's just lines of freckles. <laughs> it's, it's fucking Voldemort. <laughs> it's fucking Krillin, but, like, uh, it, uh, there you go. It's Krillin six with... Six-foot-tall Krillin with it's hair. six-foot-tall Krillin with Carrot Top's hair. Oh my God. Dressed up as a fucking Boy Scout. And it's just like, what is going on here? What is this shit, Nintendo? That's so fucking weird. It is. It's so fucking weird. And I don't know that I approve of that. Because, like, he's a man, but he has a boy's face. He's man boy. (laughs) Boy man bear pig. (laughs) I don't know. Yes. That's what it is. I just, I I don't fucking get it, man. I haven't even played any Pokemon since uh, past the second gen. Right. But one thing I do love is that they've kept up the, like, the way they describe people, bug catcher, yeah. like, beauty, uh, fisherman, yeah, and yeah. just the random, like, swimmer, fight, yeah, swimmer, yeah. female, female <laughs> swimmer. karate kid or karate guy or whatever the fuck. I, I just, I love that that's all they give these people. <laughs> Well, no, they started giving them names at some point. Oh. Like, um, uh, I think it was either third or fourth gen. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was third. Where, like, they say uh, Youngster Joey or Youngster uh-huh. whoever or Swimmer Clarissa and shit like that. Like, they give them names. But, granted, I think they just randomize it all. Oh, probably. But, yeah, like, they give them names and shit. Which, you know what? That's something that I, 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 I just thought of. I think it would be cool if... if uh, Nintendo released a Pokemon game that maybe covered a. It doesn't matter what region it covers, but every time you played it, it was randomized. So you might like encounter a youngster named like Kyle who has a Mewtwo at level five, 
Like how oh, fucking like like completely random. Like completely random. The names are randomized, so it might have the funny. youngster sprite, but it might be karate dude. <laughs> and you mean like a fucked you. up game? That's <laughs> what you're describing now. Well, what I'm saying is, like every time you play through, though, the things change. Like you might not yeah. encounter the same trainers, you might not encounter the same Pokemon. Like I said, you might encounter a youngster with a Mewtwo. You might encounter a, one of the gym leaders. A Mewtwo, but it's got Ditto's move set. <laughs> Just uses Transform. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Why not? You know, like that. That's what I. I'd, I'd like to see that, and I'm sure that someone has made a mod for a ROM that does the same thing. Probably it just randomizes everybody. Yeah, like that would. I think that would be really cool, though. You, I know you played a lot more of Pokemon Let's Go than me. When you um, get to the end, were you able to fight a ma- uh, like a the master? Once you get to like the master trainers part, um, that's what it's called, right? Uh, what are you talking about? Elite Four. After the Elite Four, where you can fight to be like the best Raichu trainer. Oh yeah, I haven't done that for everybody yet. You haven't done. Is there one from you two? Yep. There's oh, one. Okay. All you gotta do with Mewtwo though is show him a Mewtwo that really, really likes you, oh, and is okay. above a certain level, and he gives you the Ma- Mewtwo Master title. Do the same thing with Mew. You don't have to fight the one. You don't have to fight those two. Okay. Um, because I was gonna say like there's supposed to be one of a kind. So yeah. How does that work? <laughs> um. So yeah, you don't have to fight those two. Uh, mm-hmm. but you do. You, you have to. I think it's either he's above a certain level. Or you have that bond with them, yeah. Because you can you can obviously develop the bonds with your Pokemon in these games. Yeah. The more you fight using with using them, them, the more you walk with them and everything. Yeah. Um, using them in gym battles or elite fours increases their their love towards you and all that shit. Yeah. Like I love that mechanic actually in, in X Y and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire because if your Pokemon are close enough to you, you'll have random events happen while they're in battle. Like they'll dodge a move randomly or they'll wake up instantly as soon as they're put to sleep. Yeah. Stuff like that. Like it's really cool. That was one of my favorite parts of Let's Go because obviously I never played those games. But Let's Go, your Pokemon would be like, oh, it resisted the damage because of its love for you. Mm-hmm. It's like ah, cool. Yeah, it was always weird whenever that happened with my Mewtwo, because Mewtwo is that, like, Pokemon you wouldn't expect to give a flying fuck about you, but, like, <laughs> when I'm sitting there and playing, like, I think I have Mewtwo in, in X, Yeah, uh, he's, like, level 86 or whatever, uh, whenever it says, Mewtwo dodge the attack out of love, or you, <laughs> you, you shout it and he dodge the attack and his little heart appears above his head, or, like, he does a move and does a bunch of damage and you shout encouragement at him and he's just, he just looks back like, what? <laughs> I see the weeb part of me is like thinks like Mewtwo would be uh, Sunder. Like Mewtwo dodged out of love. No, I didn't. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, the look he the, when he looks back at the camera because you know the camera's behind him. Yeah. When you're in battle in in X and Y, it, it rotates around. But when you're executing your move, it's behind you, and you just see Mewtwo look back. Like what? <laughs> you look back with that big anime blush. Like stop cheering. <laughs> I mean, no, thankfully. Oh, my God. That would be the cringiest fucking thing oh, ever, man. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, we make way fun I of, see it now. We make fun of weebs and otakus. <laughs> That's the only way I see it now is Mewtwo's completely sunder. Yeah. It's just, I'm not. I, I don't, I don't love my trainer. Mewtwo's Shut the up. best. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Fuck off. Um, but, yeah, no, like, you totally do get that ability. And uh, because I've walked with my Mewtwo. The fuck. Because I've walked with my Mewtwo and my, my Pokeball so much. Yeah. His stats are just fucking out there and his love for me is through the goddamn roof because of that weird shit like his love for me is like a truck <laughs> berserker <laughs> god um but yeah no it's, it's the new pokemon game I, I i do want to play it i will be picking it up both probably both games i'll be i i I'll fucking be honest with you yeah but the the last the, the last two legendary legendaries they show at the end of the direct 100 fucking percent Dark Souls bosses. The Definitely the one with the sword is, which makes me wonder, like, that's got to be, I'm sure it's probably some Japanese lore thing where a big wolf picks up a sword and does I things. I mean, yeah, absolutely. I'm uh, pretty sure that's what the Dark Souls Because otherwise it's completely ripped off. <laughs> like, 100%. <laughs> I mean, well, you know what they say, everything's a copy of a copy of a copy I mean, these that's days. that's true. You know? Like, come on, man. But that was, uh, it's, I just love that the fucking legendary Pokemon is a Pokemon that holds a sword. It's just... It's a doggo with a sword. Doggo with a giant And then a doggo with a big with a fucking sword. shield. Yep. On its face. Like its face and mane is a shield. Is a shield, which is a little weird. Like it's it's like Is it is it made of metal? <laughs> or is it like a carapace type deal? Is it like really, really thick 
Pardon me, fur? I, Which I don't understand. That is the question of, okay, is the sword thick fur? <laughs> then again, it's... I'm going to go ahead and stop myself right there because, like, we do have Pokemon that are literal piles of garbage. Yeah. We have Pokemon that are made from nuts and bolts. We have Pokemon that are just magnets attached to the side of a metal thing. Spirits that have possessed swords keys and, and swords things like that. And, and fucking a wa- Dude, we have Rotom. Rotom is a ghost Pokemon that can... That can uh, possess things like fans and washing machines yeah. and stuff like that and change its type. So it can be ghost electric, ghost water, ghost fire. Like, okay, I'm done. Pokemon is dumb. That's Pokemon fun. can do whatever the fuck it wants at this point. Yeah. We have an ice cream Pokemon. There's an ice cream bone Pokemon. Like, why not, man? They shoot a few new Pokemon. Everyone's obsessed with the spherical sheep. I, yeah, Wooloo. Because I, I, it's named Wooloo. Yes. Yeah. Okay. See, you get it. Woolo, woolo, woolo. I didn't know its name. I just know it. I was like, oh, it's a sheep. It's adorable. It's, it's named spherical. It's named that was the woolo. best image. Was the one from Drake and Joss. <laughs> a spherical. <laughs> God. But uh, yeah, I was like, all right, they look cool. I like the thing I love about that is that there's it that for some fucking reason has inspired lots of crossovers with Fire Emblem. So I'm sub to the Fire Emblem subreddit because I'm a huge fan of Fire Emblem. Mm-hmm. I'm not sub to the Pokemon subreddit because it's Pokemon and they're fucking crazy. Yeah. But I am sub to the Fire Emblem subreddit and Fire Emblem subreddit is 90% waifu posts. Of course <laughs> it's going to be because it's like a million waifus in, in Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem does very scantily clad female characters. But it's, it's and little adorable characters. It's an and, anime. It's anime, right. Yeah. It leans so heavily into that anime aspect. But, um, <clears throat> like, for some reason, they've taken one of the clerics whose name starts with a G. She's a young redhead female. I can't remember her name. A Gemi or something like that. Yeah. And for some reason, they've, they've made memes where she's riding this fucking sheep around, and I don't understand it. She's riding the sheep. She's, she's riding the little Wooloo. <laughs> she's riding Wooloo. And I guess maybe it's like the priest connection with how like Wooloo from the yeah. Age of Empires Wooloo, and all that Wooloo. shit. It was the priest who uh, it, who took over your enemy units. But it was like I, I don't know why. I don't. I don't. And you know what? At I this mean, point, it's funny. It is. I, I'm not gonna deny it. But at this point, I don't want to know why. Fire Emblem guys, keep doing what you're doing. I don't. I just love it because it's so absurd. <laughs> it's like the um, I read a I read a Reddit thread um. Earlier today, actually, where somebody was talking about how they like like it was, I, rather it was an Ash Reddit thread, which what movie deserves a sequel? Oh. And someone said National Treasure two, and I'm like, I could go for another National Treasure. They were they were entertaining movies, and then someone made the comment, and I love this comment, um, where he basically said that they want one every year, like. <laughs> And it gets so out of hand that eventually um, Nicolas Cage is piloting, attempting to pilot the Washington Monument to get to the moon, to, hide, to get into, into space, to get the treasure we hit on the moon from the Russians. There you go. Like, it's it's like, yeah, I, I want that. I, I actually do legitimately want it that. It makes me think I wouldn't be opposed to a Fast and the Furious National Treasure crossover. Oh my god! Because I think that would be that would be like they would mesh so well. An ultimate place to go to, where you have a part of the movie is that investigation, yada yada bullshit from National Treasure, and then <clears throat> over the top crazy action scenes for no reason with what would have kind of a purpose. Yeah. With the Fast and Furious. Crew. So, so here's the exact quote. I want a new National Treasure each year until it gets so obscenely out of hand that Nicolas Cage is attempting to pilot the Washington Monument into space to find the treasure we hid from the Russians on the moon. See, my thing is, he acts like that would be, you know, five, six, no. That's like year two. You, where do you go from here, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> that's my thing. Like, that would be that would be National Treasure 4. Like, I don't know how John Wick is going to kill people in more interesting ways than John Wick 4. Yeah, like in three, he uses a horse and a book. In two, he used a pencil to kill like eight people. He's gonna have to go like the uh, fucking what is that uh, Chronicles of Riddick route where he kills three guys with a teacup? Hey, something like that, man. <laughs> like like tea actually. <laughs> where he kills a guy with a teacup, yeah, and then lays down a, the fucking key from the can the little, of sardines yeah, the, he had just opened or whatever. And they just looked and they're like, oh, fuck this shit. <laughs> just, nope. 
We're out. Yeah, like they're gonna. He's gonna. Just kill imagining them. the horrible ways. Yeah, like like, <laughs> it's amazing. Like I love this. All right, so I gotta get to news of the stupid. Um, before I forget. Yeah. So, about. Let's see how long ago this was. Let me see here, because it wasn't too long ago. So last month, Adobe. We all know Adobe. They make Adobe Reader, the thing that fixes your computer. <laughs> um, that and Google Ultron. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> basically, you know, they told a bunch of their customers in an email that they can get sued if they're using older versions of Photoshop and other pieces of their Creative Cloud software. And I'm just like, what the fuck do you mean? You know, like, you get these people, they paid $799 for a copy of Photoshop. So that they can, you know, do whatever, make porn or do renders of stuff or make more porn, like, because that's pretty much what Photoshop's used for. <laughs> and uh, now you're now now they're emailing people saying they can be sued for using it because they no longer have a license to use software. Well, here's a fucking idea, Adobe. If you're gonna revoke my license to use the fucking software, maybe you should give me my fucking money back that I paid for the license to use it in the first goddamn place. Exactly. You know, like, but no, they, you know, they won't. Is do there that. something where Adobe put in the, like their terms and conditions uh, that the license is temporary and after it's up, I mean, you have to buy the new software? Like, that, what, what, what fucking legal footing are they trying to stand on here? I couldn't tell They're, you honestly. It's like almost as bad as YouTube when it comes to clarifying things. It's just like it's. I wonder if Adobe just threw this out there, hoping to see if they could fucking rip some people off. And get like scare some people to buy uh, Adobe Forty Five or whatever the fuck they're calling their new software. Apparently, it has something to do with a lawsuit from Dolby Labs. Um, probably you know licensing some codecs from them or something. Yeah. And uh, that's why they they pivoted away from the standard software model to cloud based model in two thousand thirteen. So yeah, it's not just news of the stupid; it's news of the greedy fucking assholes. Right, but it's stupid in the fact that you paid for a license to use exactly. the software, and now they're revoking that license, but they're not giving you the thing back which you gave them in order to have the license in the first place. Yeah, it it highlights that that and like this is the problem that is does exist with digital games and stuff, where you know, well, what do you you're not actually buying the game you're or the software in this case you're buying a license to use it yeah and it's the same thing with like microsoft and windows and all that you're just buying the rights to use the software you're not buying the software itself anymore yeah that's why they offer it for free as a download and you can even run it for a while before it starts like hey you should activate this buddy mm. come on come pay us money for the license to use this hey did you get a code type in your code here put your code in here buddy or call this number and get your code uh, activated that way. Yeah. So it's like that. So like anybody who argues against digital copies, I'm always 100 percent with you there. I just like the convenience of having a million games. Yeah. On my Switch or my 3DS or my computer or whatever, without having to have a bunch of physical media. Yeah, I I, I dislike having too much physical media anymore. But the it way this sounds, it doesn't matter if you have a physical installer. Mm-hmm. You might still get sued. I'm just wondering, because this to me just screams that sort of where they, there's no, they have no intention of actually suing anyone. Yeah, they're just that trying to get people to buy their software. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like it's like when uh, when creditors, debtors call you to try to collect on a debt, you know, you don't, they, they'll, they'll try all sorts of uh, stuff to get you to do whatever. Yeah. So it's like, it's just scare tactics. That's what I'm thinking. It's just it, it's shitty. Um, I don't know. I, I I almost wish they'd send more emails so somebody could sue them for harassment. It's just <laughs> like the, the whole idea, though. Just like it, it's like really, like really, this is it's petty. Yeah, it, it's it is like it's just, it's stupid as shit. In my like like there's no way I, that I can get around that. But it's just like. It also makes me think, okay, why would anyone want to purchase Adobe now? Because yeah. guaranteed 100% uh, everything they make is made with artificial uh, – to expire. 
Yeah. There's well, no the uh, the the forced um forced obsolescence. Yeah. Obsolescence. Yeah. That's what planned it's obsolescence. Planned, planned obsolescence. Whatever, whatever it is. is. Yeah. Um, like 100. percent There's no there's no question in my mind. Everything they have now would be made so that they can stop updating it and it will break. Yeah. Or it will not let you use it or in it, whatever case. And they're trying to get people that they sold a full product to before to not use it anymore. It's kind of like it's the way Apple's done their phones for years. Yep. Like, oh, my God. It's just it's where you just fucking hate these companies. Yeah, see, that's, that's kind of why. Um... At the same time, there's – but Adobe should be able to keep selling new copies. They shouldn't. I, I don't believe that they need that money from those old companies that have purchased it, or people that people that do not need the new, um, yeah, the new the new options, the new tech, the new like they're just doing really simple rendering, or they're just doing their own art. They're yeah. simple stuff. Yeah, they don't need your new fucking five hundred whatever. No, I mean fuck. if Photoshop from two thousand fifteen is still fully functional and working exactly. the way I needed it, why the fuck would I need to upgrade to two thousand nineteen? Yeah. Exactly. What did you add? Oh, we got six new brushes. I'm fucking yeah. Six new brushes, eighteen new fucking shaders, whatever, whatever stuff they add. If you're if you're good with what you have, fine. Yeah. There's going to be plenty of people that are going to buy your new Photoshop. I mean, I think unless uh, it's really hard to get a, a pirated copy of Photoshop nowadays because of how fucking much DRM they have. So I don't I don't see that as a problem. For them. Yeah. So that's why I'm kind of like glad I never went with them to begin with. Yeah. And instead pivoted and went, you know what? I'm going to use this fucking copy of Windows Live Movie Maker that I had to find and download and install and get running on my computer. And then, oh, wait, what's this? Humble Bundle's offering Magic's uh, mm-hmm. Vegas. Well, fuck it. I'm going to use Vegas. And Vegas has been really good to us. And, you know, we started editing videos oh, a little over a year ago now, and it's been worth it. Yeah. And uh, I'm glad I got that instead. Yeah, we just do the simple stuff. We don't need any extreme. Oh, but even if I needed to go <laughs> to the extreme, yeah, Vegas has those abilities. Vegas has those options. Well, and I, I, I think I will upgrade to Vegas 16 if Humble Bundle gets it this year. Mm. Um, so, yeah. Because, you know, it has the motion tracking that I need to finish that one fucking video so I don't have to keyframe <laughs> a million goddamn edits. <laughs> but, uh, so I want to talk about Google Stadia right about now. Yeah. Because it looks kind of neat. It's Google just a, Stadia, the new, the next generation of consoles. At least Google that's what Stadia is trying to get in there. PS5 yeah, the, has been announced. They're, they're, they're trying to get in on that. They, they think cloud gaming is going to go somewhere. I don't know that I necessarily agree with them. I think they're I think they're a few years early um, for it to be as big. I don't see this. This is going to be a niche thing. Yeah. 100%. This is going to be in the vein of VR. Yeah. Where there's not going to be... Because there's still, in the U.S., um, internet access that would speed to make use of this is still limited. Yeah, I mean, for a country that prides itself on being great and the best, we have one of the shittiest net internet infrastructures ever. Yeah. Um, like, tw- it turns out capitalism, is, capitalism isn't great for uh, getting up uh, your infrastructure of internet, since we have like six companies or three companies. I mean, it is that run just everything, and they don't not, care to upgrade their. Not systems. when it's allowed to run rampant. And care more about, like, profits and stuff. Well, yeah, like Spectrum, Comcast, um, Verizon. Yeah. They don't care to upgrade. They don't. Their infrastructure, because they've already got your money. You don't have a choice. Yep. They're, they, they've they taken the one, over so much of the markets in various areas. Yeah. That in some places, one of them is the only choice. Yep. So, I mean, either you deal with it or you don't have internet. Yeah. And that's why we were fighting so hard for net neutrality a couple of years ago, and while we're still kind of fighting for it. No, we're still fighting for it. It's just not... Who knows if it's going to matter. That's when you start burning houses down to get there. Not houses. No, like the houses. We need to burn buildings down. We need to burn offices. (laughs) We need to to burn houses down. No, you don't need to burn houses down. Listen, would you let me make my fucking point, Luke? (laughs) Fine. We need to find the people who are responsible for this to begin with, of us getting (laughs) that new child, and burn their fucking houses down. Mansions. Houses, mansions, buildings is what you said, so it fits the damn definition. So let's build, let's burn it all down. Anyway, Stadia is looking kind of neat, though. Um, if they can honestly sit there and, uh, you know, 
do what they say they can, which is you have a Chromecast, you have a cell phone, like a Pixel 3, you have a, a Chromebook, whatever, and you hook a controller up to it, you can play games in the cloud. And they're not talking like, you know, mobile games or Android games. We're talking like Destiny 2 or Borderlands 3 and, and shit like that in up to 4K and uh, HDR, 60 frames a second type shit. I mean, if they can do that and it can be you know, a decent experience. Like I could see this maybe going somewhere, but you know, like there's, there's so many problems with it. Like latency is probably the biggest issue. Yeah. Which I mean, 70, 70 seconds, 70 milliseconds rather to 130 milliseconds. That's like eight, nine frames a second. Like, like on your screen, which is a big, that's, it's a big deal, especially if you're playing a fighting game uh-huh. or not to mention though, but you, you already have lag from your TV. Because if it's not in gaming mode, you probably have another 70 to 130 milliseconds on that by itself. Mm. You've got input lag from the controller. If you're not using their Stadia controller, which connects directly to their server, and instead you're playing it, say, on a Chromebook hooked up to your TV or something, and you've got a Bluetooth controller with it, you've got latency there. Like, that's that's one of their big things, is making sure they can reduce that latency. Mm-hmm. And I'm not, I'm not convinced yet. I'm not sold on it. Not just, I mean... The uh, the example I can go to is uh, when Sony did this, the streaming uh, PlayStation Now. Um, there were certain games that, yeah, it worked, but usually the older games it seemed to work okay on. Right, the ones Any that didn't the, require much. Yeah, mm-hmm. the new stuff, like I watched somebody play, um, well, I think Bloodborne. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was it was pretty laggy. I mean, and Bloodborne is one of those things where you want as minimal lag as exactly. possible. Like, we've all played, we, you know, we've played that game. I love that game. Or it was one of the Dark Souls games. But it yeah, doesn't it's... matter. Like, any any Dark Souls-like game, you definitely want minimum lag. Yeah. And for me, any game, I, it's one thing I can't stand is stuttering. Yeah. That pisses me off. I can deal with pop-in uh, to an extent. Um, the other stuff doesn't bother me as much. Stuttering is like... Just like, okay, I'm done. That is Fuck one this. of the things that I always work to eliminate in any game I play. Mm-hmm. I definitely want to like, oh no, I gotta, I gotta, like exactly. I'll deal with shit not loading properly as long as I can not have that stutter where I'm going 60 frames a second and then it drops to 30 randomly mm-hmm. and then, or two or some shit. It's one of my biggest problems with Skyrim because Skyrim does that. It does it all the time. It's like, a, it's just a Skyrim feature, mm-hmm. you know, at this point. And uh, I know on the older versions, the Legendary Edition and, and all that, like it apparently it has something to do with the audio. Mm. And there's not, there is a SKSE fix for it. I don't know if it worked or not, but it's still like it always does it. That's why I don't play Skyrim anymore. Yeah. That's why I think I think right now that sort of Netflix model of paying a base price and getting access to a bunch of games, I think Microsoft has done it the best with Game Pass. Do you stream you, the games though? You don't stream the games. Well, see, that's the difference. That's the difference. Well, that's what I'm saying. Stadium. I think yeah. downloading the game is the way to go right now, rather than streaming. Yeah, yeah but you've got you've got to wait for the download, which can suck. Uh, and if you have worse, if you don't have good internet, that takes a while too. But as soon as you're done, you're you, good to go. You have the game exactly. Like you know, like they're talking when when they're talking the streaming, um, they're talking pretty substantial internet. We live in a country yeah. here where I think 25 megabits per second is considered broadband. That's that's not broadband in any other country. No. Um, but if you want to play in 1080p, you need at least 20 megabits a second. You want to play in 720, you need 10 megabits per second. But if you want to go that 4K that they swear they can offer at 60 frames a second with HDR video and 5.1 surround sound, mm-hmm. you're going to need at least 35 megabits minimum. And granted, I have a 200 megabit connection, so I can probably take advantage of this. Yeah. 22 milliseconds of, of uh, latency between me and some of the furthest servers away from me. So I'm fine there. But what about, like, you know, some any literally anyone else? Like, not everyone's going to be as fortunate as we are. Like, you have fiber internet. You probably have mega, a gigabit down in, like, three seconds, three milliseconds of latency. I've got 500. Well, still, I mean, your latency is, is like fucking non-existent. Yeah. So it's like, you know, how how do you how do you overcome that? Well, and that and and especially if you're in areas where your ISPs 
are uh, charging you or keeping track of your data too. Yeah, data caps and stuff with data Comcast. Caps Comcast has a two hundred fifty gig a month data cap. Such bullshit. I'd blow through that in like a week. Yeah, like, I. I don't get it though. Like, like, I think I I kind of agree with you that this is probably too early. Mm-hmm. Like, I love the concept. I love the idea of it. It might not be too early for Europe. Yeah, some of Europe. And countries where they have a better infrastructure, um, and places like here, like you said, I've got good, in- I've got fiber. You've got good, in- pretty good internet. Like e- even there's competition where we are because we have a state, uh, well, city, is it city or state? I don't know, Cincinnati Bell. So I guess it's city. Um, we have an alternate option yeah, yeah. than Spectrum, which is used to be Time Warner, which is like the the big cable company around here so they have to be competitive in our area right. and even more so now i've, I've seen uh, some of their ads and gotten emails from them um where they're really really pushing to try and make better deals uh for people because i'm assuming cincinnati bell is just destroying them i mean if especially I, since they've entered uh, uh put fiber in i mean if i like if I didn't live in the apartment I lived in that's tied to the cable lines, mm-hmm. I'd one hundred percent have fiber. Yep. I would pay the one hundred and five dollars a month or whatever the fuck it is for the the the, the biggest package they offer. Yeah, like I one hundred percent would because to me that is worth it. Like I and I don't even care necessarily about the speed. For me, it's that the, at least not the download speed. For me, it's that latency and that upload because I do a lot of uploading. Yeah, because you know that. I mean, I upload. 20 gigabytes of video a fucking week for the podcast. So I want to be able to upload that. Yeah. And um, I just, I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't think this is going to work quite as, as well. Um, I don't know. I'm, I think Google knows where they're at with what they're going to sell. Right. Like, I don't think this is going to be considered a fa- failure like Google Glass was. I mean, uh, Google Glass. Quote unquote failure. Google, I mean, yeah, Google Glass wasn't so much a it failure. It's more of an experiment, I guess. And they're still experimenting with it, too. They yeah. just released a new version that we can't buy. Yeah. But still, it's out there. It's, it's available. They're still doing with it. Um, like I said, as soon as they come up with something that's basically a full HUD mm-hmm. for my face, I've got, I'm, I'm there. Yeah. Uh, or if they can put it in my car window, or I can have it connect with my car. Hundred percent, I'm there. I want a HUD. I'm, I mean, you give. I've, I, I've been Elon using Musk, HUDs in first person shooters for years. Elon Musk is working on it. I, I, I almost want to say yes, <laughs> but um, uh, but that, yeah, I I think Google, I think they they probably expect to sell what they're gonna get out of it. People like you and me that are like, yeah, I'm interested in this. I might, I you know, I mean, a niche straight thing, up, kind of want it. I am straight up considering like buying it just for the sake of. Like I, I'm curious. Yeah, it's only one hundred twenty nine dollars, and for that one hundred twenty nine dollars, you know, you get you get a fair amount of stuff. You know, I'm assuming that they're going to use. Well, the other thing that I qu- would question is what servers they using for online play. Or are they going to have? Are these games? You know, I mean, if you're playing Destiny, you're playing online. Are you playing on the? Um, I'm guessing you're playing on the PC servers. I mean, they have customized uh, server farms built specifically for this, and uh, I assume that yeah, it connects to the already established game servers that are yeah. there. Um, like I don't know, I don't, I don't know honestly. I, I like I, I gotta be honest. I, how, I'm curious. How much more difficult is it to stream a game while playing it online? Does that make a difference? No. Okay. Because they're doing all that work. Yeah. You're like how they're streaming it back to you. Mm-hmm. They'd probably be streaming it to YouTube Gaming at the same time. Yeah. It's like, oh, that's the interesting part too. I yeah. forgot about that. that yeah. the It's automatically you can set up streams super easy. Streams and recordings, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and post them straight to your YouTube channel. Yeah. That's no hassle cool. at all. Like that. That sounds really neat. Um, I, I gotta be honest. I do want to order this. It's only hundred thirty dollars. Like I said, you get like the controller. You get a Chromecast Ultra with it, and the Ultra that has the. Uh, and you get the, the power cable for the Ultra that has the Ethernet port built in. It's like, mm-hmm. I, this is interesting to me. Which has, that's the way I'd go. Yeah. If I used it, I'd go directly to my router, my um, modem. You know, you could play. Like, the thing I think that's really cool is that you can play on your phone, too. Like, 
you can play these games on your phone. You have a Pixel Three, Pixel Three A, Pixel Three XL. You can play. You can play them on there. Um, and I, I like. I, I kind of want it just for the blue controller. Of course. Yeah, like it's, it's novelty. It's the dumbest shit ever. It's special. I have <laughs> no reason to buy it. I literally have no reason to buy this. Right. I have a, a Steam library of over 250 games. I have a t- I have a computer that is capable of 4K 4K 60 play you know, 60 frames a second playback. I don't need this whatsoever. If I didn't, I mean, I already have a Steam Link. So there's really no purpose. Like, my PC games are already... Yeah. I play them on my TV all the time. I mean, I have um, the Shield TV out there. And of course, there. I have the PS4, the, X, the Wii, and the X, X-Bone. So. Well, yeah, like, that's the same thing for me. Like, I have the Shield TV out there. Yeah. It has the Steam Link app. The Steam Link app works as well as the physical Steam Link hardware. In fact, it works even better on there because the Shield TV is so much more powerful than the Steam Link. Yeah. So it's like... I don't need this whatsoever. If I wanted to sit out there and play Doom on my TV, like I could, and it's it is almost zero lag despite being wireless over my wireless network because oh, Steam Link's awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, the pricing is not bad on this though. Um, the thing that like the thing that interests me the most again, I like the idea of paying a set price and getting choosing my games. That is basically what this is. It's just I own most of those games already. Is right. My, my um, problem. Stadia Pro, which is part of the Founders Edition, of course you get three months included in the Founders Edition, which is up for pre order right now, uh, is nine ninety nine a month. Um resolution up to four K, sixty frames a second, five point one surround sound, buy games whenever you want, yes. Additional free games released regularly, yes. Starting with Destiny two, the collection. Stadia Pro exclusive discounts on select game purchases, yes. So like you know that that's yeah. Oh, okay, I'm glad you pointed out that that's Destiny 2, the collection, mm. because another story that's come out today, or yesterday, what, recent. Well, yeah, the, the, the Destiny is going free-to-play on the Steam. The base game. The base is, game, The yeah. base game is going free-to-play. Uh, and they're renaming have, it, too, which I think is really interesting. You still have to pay for the expansions, I believe. Yeah. Or, which, or everything fine. up until the newest expansion, I think, is going free, and then you oh, have to okay. pay for the newest well, expansion. Cool. It's something weird like that. I'm not sure. Still, exactly. I, I'm 100%, like, down for that. Like, that's not a bad idea at all. Um, again, I love that Bungie separated from Blizzard and yep. Activision. Yep. And this is like the first um, big change that we're seeing come out of it. Yeah. I mean, it is it is like kind of really cool. And yeah. Will I be buying this? I don't know yet. Um, I'm hoping I won't. <laughs> oh, the Stadia? Yeah, I, I'm hoping I won't. Uh, I just, I really don't have a reason for it unless they're, like, it's all about exclusives, right? Yeah. With games. Um, I mean, Google Google is, is saying they'll have Borderlands 3. Yeah. And, and Doom Eternal, Wolfenstein Youngblood, uh, Final Fantasy 15, Elder Scrolls Online, Football Manager 2020. Luke, they're going to have Farming Simulator 19. I'm fucking sold. Okay. Yeah. That's great. If Farming, if, if Epic puts the money to get Farming Simulator 2019, that would be hilarious to me. This is Google, me. not Epic. I know, but I'm, oh, because that, this is, doesn't count as a PC retailer. 100%. That's why they're getting all those, like, uh, Borderlands 3. Right, right. Day one. But part of the reasons that I get games on PC, I choose to get games on PC, either one, I want the, the better graphics and the faster frame rate, which that would that would um, take that. Right. But I also like mods. Oh, yeah. And that's not going to give me the mods. Yeah, that, that's... Not yes, the way that's another the thing. Uh, that, PC... That does work against it. does. Well, no, I mean, you just, you just pay for the Creation Club. Like, um... Buy, I'm, buy I'm, mods on the Creation Club. I'm finally gonna probably... I gotta see what it's running at, but I'm probably gonna pick up Battlefield Five soon, because they're actually... Well, they're they're releasing soon. They're gonna release a few maps. Yeah. And they're finally going to enter in the fucking um, uh, Pacific Theater of War soon. They, they're teasing it. Yeah. Um, which you're finally getting to where I want to play a World War II game. Right. Um, because you're getting this areas in history that you're... Like, yeah, that yeah. I'm very much interested. The Pacific yeah. conflict was is you know incredibly interesting. Don't get me wrong, the the whole conflict's interesting, but the fucking um, German invasion of like Norway. Yeah. Okay. It's been it done was a over. Times. It hasn't been done at all, but oh, because it, because you know because it was over in like I, I can't and I could be thirty eight minutes. Could, like, yeah, like yeah. In, in a few hours or something like. 
uh, uh, nor, uh, German invasion of Belgium. It's like they, were, they destroyed two forts with artillery pieces the size of a fucking god hand. I don't know. They're just massive. And it's just things that, okay, that's that's cool. You're doing battles that you know haven't really ever been done before. But there's a reason because they're, they're battles that haven't you know they don't go down in history. They're not things they weren't, that they weren't that historically important. Yeah, or, or uh, they they're in, historically important, but they're not that or, interesting. Yeah, that was the other thing I was going to get to. That was like it's like you know what I want to see. Do me a World War Two game where uh, what was that incident where it was like Liechtenstein or something sent eighty soldiers to go do a thing and they came back with eighty one soldiers because along the way they had made a friend of another enemy soldier. I don't remember. I know the story oh. you're talking about. I can't remember which country that was. I, uh, Somebody badass. Uh, that, they sent that, 80 that, soldiers into a conflict, and the conflict was the over, but the soldiers had. got there. So on the way back, they made a friend. They made, they a, made friend. a friend and brought him back with them. Yeah, I, I can't remember what country <laughs> so that was. So 80 men went, 81 came back. And I always loved that. I mm. always love that story because it's, 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 uh, it's funny, it's wholesome, and it's, it's feel good. But it's like, that's awesome. You know, they're in the middle of war, and they, they still had time to make friends. They made a buddy. They made a buddy. I wish I could remember. There's 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 lots of little stories like that. Like I can't I cannot for the life of me remember what country it is. But similar similar thing where uh, a, I, I think it was a south it was either a South American country. The, some country sent like a pathetic number of soldiers, like 150 soldiers, in a war where typically you have thousands upon thousands upon thousands of soldiers. Yeah. And that was their, that, that was the, what they could spare. They ended up being fucking badasses. And, yeah, you know, like, I just, those kind of stories are interesting. But either way, Battlefield Five, um, it's finally seeming to become a whole game. Yeah. And if it is, if the price is down, if it's like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, I'm, I'm finally going to pick that game up. Because there's just no reason to have bought it before now anyway. It's just trash. All right, let's see what it is. Uh, yeah, it was Lichtenstein. It was Lichtenstein. 1866. What the fuck is Lichtenstein? It's a, it's a, German, it's a small German-speaking country. Okay. Um, or that, that's what I gathered from gleaning its Wikipedia page. But yeah, because <laughs> um, I was looking for this. It's only 24 kilometers uh, from end to end and barely 12 kilometers across. So it was very small. Like, Ohio is bigger than it. Yeah. Um, by a long time. Um, but apparently back, it wasn't, it wasn't World War II. And I knew, I knew I was wrong on that. Um, oh. But it was apparently back in, here it is. If you fancy, uh, at the end of the Second World War, when 500, oh, it was, okay, when 500 white Russians sought sanctuary here, okay, the last time Lichtenstein saw military action was in 1866 during the Austro-Prussian War, when they sent 80 troops to guard the Tyrolean border. They returned home with 81 men, suffering no casualties, and gained a new recruit en route. <laughs> great is that like give me a war game that covers that because it's just so dumb yes but not dumb in like the bad way at all like dumb and just that uh, that's wholesome that makes me feel good you know uh all right so i'm not sure if there's anything else for me that i'd, I'd like to talk about was there anything else that happened movie news yeah. some game news something else so like we're sitting at about an hour now so like two months ago it was it's been a while it's been back when we were recording um when we couldn't record here because our shit was fucked here um oh yeah that was fun we had talked about on steam um how they had started selling like really shitty porn games oh yeah um, talked about stuff like, yeah talked about possibly buying some uh and then doing a review of them well i did buy one back then when it was on sale yeah it was one i mentioned called seed of the dead um, which is a sort of left for dead zombie shooter mixed with terrible, terrible, uh, anime sex. And okay. I bought it and I finally beat it after like three months because it's, oh, it's just so fucking bad. This game, I'm pretty sure majority of this game are, is asset flips, right? Like the, the zombies are probably asset flips the few monsters and uh, the, the environment is complete asset flips. I think the only thing that's not asset flips because it's 100% different and terrible 
are the anime girl, the three anime girl characters, because they look so awful and out of place <laughs> in this game. Is it like when you when you're playing Skyrim and you throw your anime waifu in there? And yes. Like you see all these guys, all these these different characters. They're all in like Nordic, rustic, medieval type gear, and then you've got fucking Mikio over here. It is in, exactly in that. fucking cowboy outfit with tassels, and it's all bright and colorful. It's like it's drab. like it's like it, it's it's not even that good. Though. And big titties. That's the funny thing. Like big, in big, big giant titties. anime titties. Yes. No, it's like in Left for Dead the when great you put, uniter. Yeah, when you put in when you use a mod to like put Miku or whatever. Hatsune I mean, Miku. I, or, I will admit that um, I I do replace the characters with different like different models and shit. Yeah. Like I have Zoe as like fucking random anime characters. I know I've got Doom Guy. I know I've got Deadpool. Which is all funny, but right. this. This is like that, except terrible. They don't. They're. It's not even that competent. The the. Oh my god! The fucking character models are just ter- ugly. Which means the sex scenes. When you beat a chapter, there's a sex scene because apparently for some reason the uh, virus has also made it so if you have sex that heals you like from physical trauma. Fucking the main character heals them. <laughs> the sex scenes are so fucking awful. Like every aspect of this game is terrible. They couldn't even even the shooting, which is would have been like the most basic. See, I was gonna ask you to get like to get are the mechanics of the shooting. The mechanics of the shooting, it's like it tries to be like Left for Dead. You have a melee weapon, a main weapon, and then and or a, a pistol, and then two main weapons uh, that spawn on the map. The game, um. It kind of tries to mask like Left 4 Dead. You don't actually go anywhere on the maps. They're just like they they're just re as simple as fucking possible. Right, right. Um so you have waves and everything is basically a wave uh, a wave shooter. So even levels where you do travel around, you have to fight waves, and then the doorway opens. You go to the next area. I mean, that's how Doom waves, works. Right? Doorway opens, like, sort of. Yeah, like Doom except works this that is way. terrible. Right? No, I get what so, you're saying. Yeah, aiming down the sights sometimes. Um, when you aim down your sights, you then can't shoot anymore with the pistol. <laughs> It just will not let you shoot, so you have to unaim down the sights. Which it should be just you know uh, most games where you um, hold the left uh, left uh, mouse button and then shoot with the, the right, or right. hold the right mouse button to aim, shoot with the left mouse button. In this game, sometimes when you let go of the right mouse button or left trigger, if you're playing it with a controller, which I did both, when I realized that it, the game does have. Controller support. controller support, even though Steam Link says it doesn't. Right. I was like, oh my god, I have to play this on my big screen, which just made it ten times worse. Um, how how much was this game? I bought it when it was on sale. I think I only paid four ninety nine. I would not recommend anyone pay more than a dollar for this. I mean, if you are really, really, really desperate to see three D anime porn. Um, Dude, no, no, just go to go Pornhub. somewhere else. Just go to Pornhub. There it's, are, it's free. Studio Foe has uh, uh, has hundred thousand times better porn. Uh, go to fucking Four Chan's adult gift page. Go anywhere, go literally to my anywhere else. TV. There is no um, what's that one famous hentai website that uh, oh, um, went Hentai down Haven. and came into Haven. Yeah. yeah go Haven. there. I'm sure there's better 3d. This is so fucking God awful. There's clipping in the sex scenes. They, like, I mean, like there are plenty of SFM videos. Oh my are, God. Like, there, there, there's lots that are really bad, but there are, there are, there are handfuls this, that are really good. This would have been considered terrible 10 years ago. <laughs> this is so bad, but even like I was going on the mechanics of the game. So shooting is terrible. Um, the, the shotguns are like the only really good weapons. Right. Um, and even then, once again, sometimes uh, you aim down the sights and you stop being able to shoot anymore. Um, there's a lot of times where I swear when you're shooting enemies, they don't, there's no hit detection or there's no damage detection. Oh, wow. Because you can, I could, I was judging how much power each weapon has, where if you run up on an enemy with one of the shotguns, there's a pump shotgun and a semi-auto. Yeah. And blast them with it full force, it kills just about everything in one shot. Right. There are many times I would do that and blast three or four times before the enemy was taking any damage. Oh, wow. It seems just like randomly it decides not 
to hit, not hit, to have any hit, hit detection. boxes just decide to change. Yeah, it on just you. decides that they're invulnerable. One of the enemies that the the not even boss, there's no boss, just the toughest enemy uh, is like this bigger buffer zombie looking thing. That I think the only thing they did to make it not a direct asset flip yeah. is that they made its head look like a penis. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a dick zombie. It's a dick-headed zombie, yeah. yeah okay. But the game... You know what the funny thing is? That reminds me of when my friends and I used to play Resident Evil 4 back on the GameCube. Yeah. The GameCube is, the, uh, the, 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 zomb- the the ganados that had the thing, the parasite pop out of their, pop head, out of their head, yeah. we called them dickheads. Yeah. Because they had a big swinging spiky dick. They had a big spiky fucking, yeah. Um, if there was anything like that, this would be more interesting. All There's there's literally like four types of enemies. There's sta- uh, it, there's zombies, standard zombies, like rager, like dark zombies, these spider things, a worm thing, and then the big guys. And that's it. Like, what is that, five? I don't That's know. all the enemies. I was not paying enough the attention funniest, to counting. The funniest thing is, though, in the middle of combat, when you're fighting the zombies, if the three AI control... Oh, my God, the a- a- AI is fucking awful. Um, they just barely are capable of shooting zombies. Um, but at any time, while they're getting damaged, you can initiate sex with them. And you get, like, a little... Um, uh, you can initiate sex. Yeah, them. that's the best way to put it. You just walk up to them and hit the sex button, and they go, "What? Right now?" And actually, it's in Japanese, but there's subtitles. Granted, I will give the game one thing. I will say about the game is the the characters' interactions in between chapters and the subtitle, like when they're they're talking, it's all in Japanese except with uh, text boxes. Um, is actually funny. Like it, it manages. So to it be has funny. that redeeming. It does quality. have a little bit of redeeming quality where the story, jokes. not the the quote unquote story, the interactions the between plot. the characters, the plot is kind of funny. Yeah. I will give it that. But so it's a um, uh, timed. What do you call it? A uh, uh, reaction. You just have to click Quick the fucking events? yeah. You just sort of, but you just click the mouse button and it never changes the beat. So you just have to hit it uh, in when it crosses the bar. Like a and you either timer? get. Rhythm thing? Yeah, yeah, rhythm. Yeah. Rhythm game. So you either get um good or perfect. And the fast the better you do, the faster they orgasm. When they orgasm, they get all their health back in a shield. Wow. Okay. So the better you do. So you could literally just basically keep going and making them invincible. As well as your your own health maxes out and you get a shield. So <laughs> you're invincible when you're doing that. It's 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 funny. Real talk, I'm mm-hmm. considering buying this game so I can stream it on Chatterbait. Oh, God, I don't recommend it. It's so... Because it's, it's bad. So, it's one of those things that's so awful. I, I got it. It's like it's like we were talking about earlier in Pro Jared's Dick. Like, yeah. if it was described as the best dick ever or the worst dick ever, you're like, okay, now i got to see it. See, my and, thing and, is... So what you're, you're doing here is you're describing something like... My curiosity is like, okay, I got to see how bad this is. Yeah, like those scenes, that's when the game is actually funny, is that you can do that. Um, other than that, it's just bad. Like, oh, it's just all around bad. The shooting is terrible. It kind of gets interesting when you start finding a lightsaber as a weapon. Right. And its alternate fire is fucking the force lightning, which can knock a bunch of enemies back. And that's kind of cool. There's like an alien rifle, a weapon, like an alien little 1950s style alien gun that uh, shoots. Little blasters like pew pew. Yeah, it yeah. shoots, and then the it, there's a delayed explosion. Uh-huh. Um, but I mean, oh, everything is so fucking bad about the game. Um, you get stuck on things a lot. Zombies, and the, the AI seems to just turn off. And at one point, I'm sitting there at a level that's a, a a wave thing, a horde, and I had one enemy left, and I'm looking around like, okay, where the fuck is it? I had to walk around the map to find that he was stuck on a wall, just standing there. <laughs> It's the one mission, I will say, that is funny, that is kind of entertaining. Um, And if you're into it, I could see this one time, the game actually being mildly um, sexy, Uh sort of. There's In the story, you're fighting this zombie apocalypse. You find a laboratory where they were working on a cure for this virus in the underground of a hospital. And what you find out, and this is, again, where the plot is funny, um, is that to complete the cure, they need um, 
what does how does the 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 one character the scientist the smart girl with glasses right the one with the biggest tits she's like it needs um um they're like what spit it out she's like female fluid <laughs> it needs vaginal secretions they're like what it needs cum so all of the ai characters end up sitting on like sex benches so the whole time you're protecting them from the zombies while they're getting are, fucked I, by these benches. you say sex benches i think like something like a symbian built into a bench Sort of, yeah. Well, um, or like a fuck machine. One of those fuck machines. It, it, that's the best description. Just a fuck machine with, of course, two nipple cups, uh, two breast cups. Because why not? I mean, it, it always. What's this game called again? Seed of the Dead. Seed of the Dead. Other than other than just a few things, the game is fucking terrible. Um, like there's there's almost no redeeming qualities about the game. I messed with the gallery a little bit after I beat it, because um, I hadn't I hadn't ever gotten a game over. The game is painfully easy, uh, but I looked at the game over videos. This game is so awful that Steam didn't even want to take me to it at first. Oh, I'm not surprised. <laughs> uh, you know what? It actually has a lot of positive reviews. Of course, every porn game on Steam does. It's so stupid. Eighty percent of the 388 user reviews for this game are positive. Uh, recent reviews, 75% of the 24 user reviews in the last 30 days are positive. There's no... I just don't... Any of those people that give in this positive, maybe they, maybe there's a fucking mod I don't know about, something to download to make it not look like shit, but it looks so terrible. There's no... It's like... I I can't... It's just not... It's not good. A heart, There's nothing... I, okay, I love the description. A heart-pumping fusion of zombie FPS and erotic dating sim. A sudden <laughs> pandemic has turned the world into zombie-infested hellscape. Seek safety with three attractive heroines. Yeah, there's no... Nothing even remotely similar to a dating sim in it. Because it just... Sex happens. There's no... There's nothing else to the game. Okay, so I'm gonna buy this game. Not right this second. Um, I don't. I don't recommend. Buying I don't care it. even for the joke. It. I don't care that you don't recommend it. It's, right. it's, it's one. Of, it's one of those things. that's so bad. I got to see it. I just got. I've got to imagine that there's a thousand better. Like even those VR, those terrible looking VR sex games. Like uh, what's one that was on Steam recently? I think it was like VR Bordello or something. It was just. It's just here's a place with lots of next uh, naked. Uh, Models. Right, right. Um, All right. Looks a thousand times better than this game. This game is just fucking awful. <laughs> I gave it like a one out of ten. We're gonna get. We're gonna wind it down here. While Luke's talking about this, and uh, I should have returned it. I, I legitimately when I, after after I played it, but I bought it and hadn't touched it for like a month, uh, or f- at least a few weeks, and yeah. then actually played it the first time, beat the first chapter. The sex was la- like laughable at that point, and I was like, "Oh God, I really wish I could return this." <laughs> I see where this is going. This is awful. Yeah. The if the honest to God, if the shooting mechanics at least were decent, I could have had fun with the game. Right. In that respect. Right. Um. But they're they're terrible. <laughs> the sex scenes are terrible, and only a couple of them are funny. Terrible. Yeah. Most of it's just bad. Actually, there's a hilarious one where the the not under eighteen lolly looking character. Um. <laughs> the whole sex scene is she's stomping on the dude's dick. <laughs> which i thought was fucking funny all right so with that we're gonna go ahead and wind uh, this down yep. um hope you guys enjoyed our uh, meaningless chatter here that's gonna be our new tagline meaningless chatter meaningless number chatter. one meaningless chatter fuck <laughs> yep um if you guys liked us you know follow us on twitter mm. ungodly geeks check check us out on facebook facebook.com slash ungodly geeks i didn't update this week last week whatever he has one job folks <laughs> <laughs> i'll post a link there at some point um you know go to our patreon throw us a buck get your name in our credits maybe we'll yep. start shouting people out i don't know yet but we got i've been thinking of more perks to add but anyway join our discord join our discord yeah the links at the top of the page active. we talk about dumb shit yeah that's actually where the meaningless chatter uh quote comes from <laughs> so f- that's it for us hope you enjoyed this so I'm Godly Geeks. Can you check us out? Yep. So, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. See you.